today's video. No endorsements, no sponsorship, no money's changed hands, but the paint and testing, isomat. Is it any good? I'll give you an honest opinion. So stay tuned, keep watching, because this video will show you the primer undercoat, the gloss, the satin, or the eggshell. So if you want to know what this paint's actually like, Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator, is product testing it. Welcome, painters and decorators of the interweb. If you're watching this video, quite possibly you've sat through about half an hour of the previous video testing Isomat, Isolac, Aqua, Gloss. And if you've not seen that video, there's a link there. Don't worry, the last video was giving you a lot of information about who Isomat are, Greek company. Instructions are all in Greek, but actually there is some instructions there in English, thankfully. But no, today we're going to do da, 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 Doris the door and as I said, I'm doing follow-up videos. That was the gloss, testing the gloss. The primer undercoat, one gloss over the primer undercoat, finished with two glosses. And I gave you a bit of a review what I thought of it. That was in the last video, that the link was there. Now, because the distributor was really good to me, they've also supplied me with the eggshell and the satin. So today, we're going to try the eggshell. Now, I've already taped off the top section. We've already got the undercoat, which is the Isolac Aqua Primer, which you can just see there, the whole door. Watch the previous video if you've not seen it. So all I've got to do today, keeping it short, we're going to coat that top section up, leaving that little strip there because that's the undercoat. Then once that's dry, we'll tape it off just there and then we'll do a second coat on that section just there. Do you follow me? But the question is going to be, is this paint, and get the right one, is this paint, is this the eggshell? Is this the best eggshell on the market in the UK at the moment? I've told you before, I'll give you an honest opinion. We've had a black door, I've painted it white. I'm not expecting stuff to cover. We're not looking at an opacity test for how good the paint is, but we are looking to see how it does. There's a bit of an oxymoron on that. We are, we're not doing an opacity test but we are seeing what it covers like over black because we know black you'd be putting, or dark colours, you'd be putting two undercoats on to try and obliterate it. Nobody's, nobody's actually saying that this primer would be an obliterating primer coat, we know that. So we're not looking at obliterating, but it is quite interesting to see how the coverage is over a dark colour. I said in the previous video, most of us are working over light colours, magnolias, whites, whites that have probably be previously been oil and it's gone off and gone yellow because it's not had um, any exposure to any light. So anything lesser colour that we're going over, these are going to cover fine. So there's no problem there. But um, yeah, let me mix this tin up because always give it a good stir up. We're not thinning it, we're using it straight out of the tin. If it needs thinning, I'll tell you I think it needs thinning, but we're just going to keep this straight out of the tin, testing of the paint. I've still got, you can just see it bottom there, I'm still using the same brush, so it's all in the same test environment, whatever you want to call it. We're using the Wix Cheapo brush, so everything's having a fair crack at the whip. Does that make sense? We're having a fair crack at the whip. But um, yeah. Let's get this whipped up, let's get, get coated up and keep it under a 10 minute video. Top section, I'm going to coat it all the way up. Eggshell, let's see what it's like.
Right, first impressions. That applied lovely. Tactic went on really nicely. It felt creamy. You could probably say, oh, it pulled a little bit. That undercoat was done yesterday. If you wanted to pour a bit of water on into it, you could do, but it actually went on quite well. And first impressions of that covering, it's not covered bad. To say we got a black undercoat, well, I'll say black undercoat, we got a black door, then when the undercoat went over it, and that's really tight, that's not scratching off. Don't forget, I said previous video, it's 30 days curing time for all of this. Drying time, undercoats, side of the tin says about an hour. The gloss is about an hour for recoating. But interestingly, drying time for the eggshells and the satins, three to four hours. I probably won't be as long as that before I recoat. It's a warm day, I'm outside, the air's getting around it. We'll probably be a bit less than that. But please bear in mind, we are testing it and we might be just pushing the boundaries slightly. But I want to give you the honest opinion of what I think of that and so far so good. That is an eggshell finish which will be a flatter finish. Won't be so much of a sheen with that. That's not covered badly. Be interesting to see what it covers like for the second coat. So I'll um, see you in a few hours. I'll come back and um, let's get coated up. So here we are. Drying time for this on the side of the tin it says three to four hours. I'd probably say I'm well over three hours now. It's been outside, it's been in the sun. Still nice and warm, it's a nice day. Feels dry, it's touched dry within minutes really. Now, this is an eggshell finish. Now, the beauty of using an eggshell finish is it doesn't show up any imperfections, whereas gloss is quite critical, like vinyl silks. And um, soft sheen's quite critical on walls, that's why you don't use silks and soft sheens and glosses and things like that on ceilings, that's why you use a matte. So for an eggshell finish, i.e. like a flat finish, this is quite a nice finish for your woodwork if you don't want to um, show any bad skirting boards, bad frames or anything like that. It's, it's one to consider. Right, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the second coat on of this section here now. So you know, um, you know the deal. I'm going to smile at you and then I'm going to do the Benny Hill did a little speed through painting it. It's not a big section so it won't be very long. Then we'll have a look and we'll do a review. So um, let me give you the smile. I'll just give that a big thumbs up. Do you know what? I'm going to put that on the thumb title. That is the best, best application of a paint I've put on for a long while. That went on beautifully, really went on really nice. Whether it's because I've left it that three and a half to nearly four hours worth of drying for the first coat, I don't know, and it's warm. Me only a little bit of a criticism and don't take this as a negative criticism it was just starting to pull on me slightly just as i did that last well it'd be the style if you were doing a full door that rail there um just slightly pulling now as i've told you before this is neat paint this is straight out of the tin and anybody who's probably used this before says phil you've got to pour a splash of water in it yeah we know that but i'm doing it as a neat paint to see what it's like straight out of the tin but that as a second coat has gone on lovely really really nice whether it's because it's that eggshell finish and it's a flatter finish and it's got a bit more pigmented body that's covered over that well remember it was a black door that is covered i would say that's nearly covered what i'm going to do i'm going to give it 10 minutes later all dry off i'm going to move it into the sun so it dries a bit quicker and then i'll do my um conclusion and remove conclusion and review of what that paint is but I've got a smile yeah I'll come back in a bit so here we are let's do the conclusion in the roundup we're under 10 minutes on this let's hope so <laughs> not 30 minutes like the gloss one right that went on beautifully you're not gonna see it a little bit of grinning 
I explained this in the last video, grinnings where paint looks a little bit see-through and it shows the underlying surfaces through colours. Now, to be expected because we're going over a black door, we've done the primer, ink cover bad, and scratch testing that. It's only been a, dare say, doing this over a weekend. First coat went on all right, not bad at all. Second coat, I've left that nearly four hours. Went on really nice. As I said, a little bit, a couple of minutes ago. Well, a bit, bit longer than that, but to you. That went on really nice. Bit of water to it, probably be even better. But would you get the coverage over a dark colour? Probably not, but play that by ear. As I've said before in the last videos, you probably put two undercoats on before you start doing the finish um, paints. But that, I'm really impressed with it. Would I use it again? Definitely. Do I like that finish? It's not for everybody's, not everybody's taste, but a flat finish can be very forgiving when you've got bad water, as I was saying to you a few minutes ago. Well, a bit longer than that, but a few minutes ago. If that was over a, a lighter colour, a creamy magnolia, you'd probably get full coverage on that with a undercoat and two top coats. But all in all, that's a really nice paint. And as I've said, if you've seen the gloss video, paints for professionals, yeah, these these aren't Mickey Mouse paints that you'd be um, picking up in a DIY shop and the average ordinary Joe Blogs, say Joe Blogs, you know what I mean? It might be Joe as in a boy, Joe as in a girl, Joe Blogs, not picking anybody out. The ordinary person who's just doing a bit of house painting, not used to working with brushes and everything, might struggle with it. As a professional, you'll probably find that's a really nice paint to apply and just that touch of water might even help it even more. So, uh, conclusion, sum it up, really nice paint, I'm gonna use it again. Be interesting to see what the satin's like. The gloss, I was sitting on the fence with the gloss. The eggshell, I'd say it's a different product altogether. Is that because there's more of a pigmentation in it, makes it cover a bit better? I'm not sure, if you know a bit more about paint than I do, please, please tell us why that, why that's a nicer coverage of paint and why the gloss wasn't a bit better with body. I don't know, it's probably some of the resiny, in inverted commas, oils to make it glossy, probably don't cover as well as a flatter finish because you find that with a lot of paints anyway. But no, really good, give it a try. If you know how to do brush work, give it a try. In the future, I'm gonna try this on jobs. I'm also gonna try and spray it and I'll see what it's like for spraying. The same with the satin and same with the gloss. I'll let you experiment with it. But no, thanks for listening to me. You've seen the subscribe bits and pieces, press that bell for the next ones coming through. And if I go, um, there's a video there and a video there, just click please, go and see what they are. I don't know what they'll come up as, but I'll see you on the next one.